A young Ethiopian kid named Abushe has drawn the attention of photographers and people from all over the world because of his unusually blue eyes, which are extremely rare in this world. He was even dubbed one of the 88 persons on the planet with the most beautiful eyes, a distinction that the small youngster hasn't yet grasped. Having the world's most gorgeous eyes, on the other hand, hasn't always been a piece of cake for him. He had blue eyes like I'd never seen before in my life, said one photographer from Cape Town, South Africa, who got the opportunity to photograph Abushe for the first time. He described them as two miniature planets with the kindest face to accompany them. Abushe is from Jinka, which is a town in southern Ethiopia's Amara region. He was born with Wardenburg syndrome, which is a melanin gene mutation that affects the pigment in the development of eye color, which is a disorder known as Wardenburg syndrome. According to the National Library of Medicine of the United States, this illness is extremely rare, affecting approximately one in every 40,000 individuals. When Abushe was born, his parents were allegedly taken aback by his eyes and believed he was blind. However, his parents were unable to afford to have him examined or treated because of financial constraints. Later, his parents referred to this one-of-a-kindness and rare condition as a gift from God. As of 2016, when Abouche was photographed by the French photographer Eric Laforge, he was living with his grandparents in an unassuming structure built of brick and wood. A fire broke out, unfortunately, but Abouche and his grandma managed to escape without being seriously injured. The fire completely destroyed their belongings, with the exception of one item that Abushe cherished, a red soccer ball. His ambition to play professional soccer at some point in the future. Abbas's favorite team is Barcelona, and he's a big fan of forward Lionel Messi, who plays for Barcelona. Messi is the same as I am. He's different from the rest, Abushe explained to Laforge. The following words about the boy were shared on an Instagram page dedicated to the area. In the background, Abushe ate his vientu, a variety of meatless foods spread on fermented injera bread, which is typical of Ethiopia, in relative silence and unbothered by his surroundings. Every now and then, he'd look up from his plate and see that I was looking at him. I made the decision to break the silence. Can you tell me your age? I'm almost 14, he explained. Can you tell me what you want to be when you grow up? I'm a doctor, he explained. A fashion model might be a good idea, I inquired. Abushe responded steadfastly and with a tinge of sarcasm. Despite the fact that I'm not familiar with what fashion models do, I think it could be interesting. I couldn't help but laugh a little. He didn't even bother to smile. When I was born, my parents believed I was blind. When people realized I could see, some referred to me as cursed. And many of the youngsters in my town refused to engage with me in any form. They used to tell me that I needed to repair my eyes. I ran away from home and lived on the streets, where I got into a lot of conflicts with other people. That's how I ended up with this scar. With his right index finger, he pointed to the arch engraved near to his right eye. He proceeded in between mouthfuls of injera. When foreigners arrived and asked to take photos of me, I didn't think anything of it until I started earning money from them, and that changed my perspective, as well as the thinking of the locals. Barney then referred to an article that he discovered on his phone at the same moment. The 88 most beautiful eyes on the face of the planet. The cover photo was taken by a bush. Abushe, did you know that? I screamed. Did you know that you have one of the 88 most beautiful eyes in the world, out of a population of 8 billion? We presented him with the article. I noticed the expression on his face shift. When he looked at me, his eyes shone like the sun bouncing off the water. It's impossible for me to believe it. 8 million, you might wonder? No, 8 billion. As in 8 times 1,000 million. As in 8 billion. His expression was a mix of delight and amusement. How much is eight billion, he required. What? he exclaimed, his face flushed with delight. It can't possibly be real. I swear on Mother Mary. What? His excitement at our unexpected finding filled the entire room. After that, Nibby, our translator, said, You know Abushe is the Aramic word for small boy, he said. Most people refer to him by that moniker, although his real name is Melikamu, which is a Swahili word that translates to the good. Melikamu, I stated out loudly, joking. Then he raised his eyes to mine and nodded his head. I grinned, my gaze being drawn to his sparkling blue pupils. Clay Huntingen, of Alive Like the Wind, a content maker and photographer, recently traveled to Ethiopia, where he was able to sit down with Abushe, who is now 14 years old. As Abushe explained to Clay, When I was born, they assumed I was blind. When people realized I could see, 
Some referred to me as a cursed person, and many of the youngsters in my town refused to engage in me or play with me after that. They used to tell me that I needed to repair my eyes. I ran away from home and lived on the streets, where I got into a lot of conflicts with other people. That's how I ended up with this scar. It was the arch that had been etched right next to his eye, he said. In accordance with Huntington's research, Abushe's traditional name is Malikamu, which translates as excellent. So, what is Wardenburg syndrome? Wardenburg syndrome is a set of hereditary diseases that can cause hearing loss, as well as changes in the coloring or pigmentation of the hair, skin, and eyes. Wardenburg syndrome is a rare genetic condition that affects the pigmentation of the hair, skin, and eyes. A moderate to substantial hearing loss in one or both ears can occur in people with Wardenburg syndrome, despite the fact that most of them have normal hearing. The deafness is there from the time of birth, congenital. The eyes of people suffering from this ailment are frequently very pale blue or have a mixture of colors, such as one blue and one brown eye. Occasionally, one eye will have portions of two different hues in it. Another typical symptom of the illness is distinctive hair coloring, such as a patch of white hair or hair that is prematurely grayed. The characteristics of Wardenburg syndrome differ from person to person, even within the same family of people who are affected. Currently, there are four recognized kinds of Wardenburg syndrome, each of which is differentiated by its physical traits as well as, in certain cases, by the genetic basis of the condition. However, people with type 1 almost always have eyes that appear widely separated compared to people with type 2, despite the fact that the two types have extremely comparable physical characteristics. In addition, those with type 2 are more likely than those with type 1 to suffer from hearing loss. Type 3, also known as Klein-Wardenburg syndrome, is characterized by abnormalities in the arms and hands, as well as hearing loss and pigmentation alterations. Type 3 is the most severe of the three types. Type 4, also known as wardenburg shaw syndrome, is characterized by the presence of signs of symptoms of both Wardenburg syndrome and Hirschsprung disease, an intestinal illness that causes severe constipation or obstruction of the small intestine. Wardenburg syndrome is thought to affect approximately one in every 40,000 persons. It occurs for between 2 and 5% of all occurrences of congenital hearing loss, depending on the source. Among the most prevalent kinds of Wardenburg syndrome are types 1 and 2, with varieties 3 and 4 being the most unusual. Signs and Symptoms Wardenburg syndrome, or WS, may include distinctive facial abnormalities, diminished pigmentation of the hair, the skin, and or the irises of both eyes. In some individuals with WS, there's abnormal sideways or lateral displacement of the inner angles of the eyes. The conditions may be associated with unusually low openings to the tear ducts and increased susceptibility to infections of the lacrimal sacs. WS is often associated with pigmentary abnormalities due to deficiency of the pigment melanin. The eyebrows, eyelashes, and scalp hair may become prematurely gray or white. WS may also be associated with underdevelopment or hypoplasia of the connective tissue fibers that comprise most of the colored region of both eyes. In some cases, WS1 may occur in association with bilateral malformations of the arms and hands, other skeletal abnormalities may be present, such as abnormal elevation of the shoulder blades. Rare cases of WS4 have also had neurologic symptoms due to abnormalities of the brain and spinal cord. Causes Wardenburg syndrome type 1, WS1, and type 2, WS2, are inherited as autosomal dominant traits with variable penetrance and expressivity. In dominant disorders, a single copy of the disease gene will be expressed dominating the other normal gene. Researchers have located a gene responsible for WS1, known as the PAX3 gene, on the long arm of chromosome 2, 2Q35. Multiple specific mutations of the PAX3 gene have been identified in different individuals and families. In some families, WS2 results from mutations of a gene called MITF. MITF regulates the production of a protein that plays an essential role in the development of certain pigment or melanin-producing cells, such as melanocytes. Absence or impaired functioning of melanocytes affects pigmentation of the eyes, skin, and hair, and has been shown to affect hearing function. Wardenburg syndrome type 4, WS4, also known as wardenburg hirschsprung disease, has been shown to result from mutations of several different genes. 
mutations of EDNRB gene or EDN3 gene on both chromosomes in some individuals with WS4. If an individual receives one normal gene and one gene for the disease, the person will be a carrier but not usually show symptoms. Mutations of the PAX3 gene have been identified in individuals with WS1 and WS3. Evidence suggests that a single mutated copy of the SOX10 gene may result in WS4. SOX10 is thought to play some role in the early development of the autonomic nervous system and the CNS, particularly glial cells. Affected Populations When a disorder is named after the investigator, P.J. Wardenberg, who first characterized it accurately, it's known as Wardenberg syndrome. At least 1,400 cases have been documented in the medical literature since the discovery of the disease. Evidence suggests that WS occurs in around one out of every 40,000 births and accounts for approximately 2 to 5 percent of all occurrences of congenital deafness in the general population. Males and females appear to be affected in about equal proportions by the illness. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.